I'm a satellite hardware design engineer, uh, which means that I make the hardware that makes the satellite operate. So I've had the pleasure to design electronics for spacecraft that are currently orbiting the sun, that have impacted an asteroid, and that are on their way to Saturn's moon Titan. What breathes life into a satellite are the electronics. So whether it's making the main flight computer or the brain, um, or the uh, radio, which you can think of as the mouth and ears, how we communicate back and forth between Earth, or the guidance, navigation, and control electronics, which are sort of like your uh, sense of which way is up, or the, um, the power subsystem and batteries and things like that that make the muscles of the spacecraft move. It's all really about making, making the magic happen and making it go. For the DART mission, the, the asteroid impactor, I had the great pleasure of being the lead design engineer for the spacecraft computer, so the brain of the spacecraft, if you will. And on Dragonfly, I'm doing something very similar where I'm giving it uh, eyes. It was really process of elimination and personal exploration that kind of got me to where I am. I knew that I liked math and physics, and eventually I, I landed on electrical engineering because I, I figured, well, you learn in physics Maxwell's equations, four simple equations, deceptively simple equations that sort of capture a lot of the field. And I go, yeah, I think I can do that. Four equations, that sounds reasonable. So I, you know, I, I sort of followed my way into electrical engineering. Um, and then because it was very math and, and physics heavy, I, I enjoyed it very much. And, and then I started my career here at the lab and I didn't start in space either. Um, that was also another happy accident. I had a, a small task assigned to me on the Parker Solar Probe mission. Um, and I sort of fell in love with space. As a design engineer, I'm in the trenches every day worrying about the next problem, the next little step. So this award was kind of like a, a moment to stop take a beat and look back over the you know, past almost decade now uh, accomplishments and go, yeah, I guess I have done some pretty cool stuff.